Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Levette Jallo. If you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. In this video, as the title again already suggests, I will be talking you through my process each month when I do my yoni steaming. Um, which is also known as vaginal steaming or V steaming. Now, I come from Gambia, which is in West Africa, and I'm part of the Fulani tribe. My people, especially in Gambia and many parts of Africa, including East Africa, North Africa, Central Africa, um, use what they call either vaginal smoking or vaginal steaming. Those are the two options that we have done for centuries. And it's a rite of passage for young women when they come into puberty. That's generally when you're introduced to this particular ritual. Um, I do it because I, ha I suffer from quite severely um, painful period pains. Um, I've had doctors prescribe me um, birth control pills which have not helped at all. I ta I've taken ibuprofen but I tend to take quite a lot of it because it goes on for days. And um, in the end, whilst I was 17, 18, I started going back to my original ancestry and my roots which are basically steaming once a month so before my period and I, these days life is easy i don't have to guess because i have the app called clue where i know when my men where i am in my menstrual cycle and it gives me a heads up and says next week or four days or two days you will actually have your period so when i know that my period is due in a few days i wait until the day before and i actually do the steaming process Previously, before I found Empress Body, which is a black owned company, by the way, wink wink, um, I used to mix my own herbs and steam over it. Um, it has never been an issue. In fact, it has actually helped me deal with my menstrual cramps without having to take ibuprofen or paracetamol or any. And I remember when I was a child in the Gambia, we had a beautiful big neem tree that would always bloom after the rainy, rainy season. And a lot of women would always come knock on our compound door and ask my grandmother for permission to actually take the leaves off the tree. I didn't know what they were doing with it, um, but one day I did ask my grandmother and she told me that when I was old enough, I would actually understand what they were using it for. And indeed, I did. By the time I was about 17, 18, I understood that the women that were coming to our compound to ask permission to actually take some of the neem were using it for two purposes. It was either for smoking, which is an alternative to steaming, or they were in fact boiling it and using it to not only wash, but also to steam their vaginal area. Now the reason they were doing this was a lot of the women who were asking for them to cut down some of the neem to use were women who were going through miscarriages or had already given birth and needed the neem and its properties to actually help them um, detox naturally their womb area, their vaginal area, the whole space. Now, it's very important to note for you guys that this does not require you to put any items inside of your vaginal cavity. Your lady parts self-clean. Um, when it comes to steaming, it's just to uh, basically not only to detox, but also to help the uterine lining to actually do its job properly. Now, when I say that, I don't mean that it goes into your uterine in that sense, but the warmth that is going up in that certain area can actually help you alleviate a myriad of issues. And I'll get into that a little bit later. Now, my way of doing it is quite unconventional because back in the day, I used to take the herbs that I do like to mix together that work for me, but I never wanted to record that video because it's just so messy to show you how I put everything together, how I boil it up and where I put it. Now I found kind of an easier way of doing it and I've had a face steaming machine in the house for years that I've never used for my face. In fact, I use it to do my vaginal steaming process. And I find that it's very easy, the timer works, it gives me 25 minutes of steaming and it allows me to not have to boil water and put it underneath me and be very worried that I'm gonna burn myself because all of that is quite unnecessary. Now, when you do this ritual, some women prefer to stand over 
the bowl. Some women prefer to sit in kind of a yoni pad, which you can buy. It's like a chair, which is missing the central piece. The way I do it is I scoop myself over to the edge of my chair and I have my uh, lady parts directly over the steam and then I let it steam for 25 minutes. Now the times of the month that I do use the steaming method is usually about a few days before my period. I use the Clue app so I always know when my period is due to come but also my body communicates to me and lets me know when my body will be attempting to kill me because I'm not pregnant. I do suffer from very severe menstrual cramps and it also goes all the way through my entire menstrual cycle. Um, so I get it for about four days, but when I steam and when I have access and I'm in my home and I do the steaming, I have noticed a there's less pain to it. But because I travel so much, sometimes my period will catch me traveling on lectures and I'm unable to steam the day before. So those are the times that I really see the benefits of steaming because I always endure. The reason I wanted to do this video is I found a black owned company called Empress Body and they make the steaming process simplified for you. They have a wash, they have an oil which can be used for lubrication during intercourse but also they have mix the herbs already in a tea bag size that you mix with 750 milliliters of water you can add more if you want to and use that to steam for 25 minutes or more so now the yoni steam is a package it has 12 sachets in it and it's saying that it is an alternative for women who do not feel comfortable with inserting holistic products into their cavities which i fully understand um, Empress Yoni Steam is for those with the following condition, menstrual support, dysmenorrhea which is painful periods which I have, irregular periods, clears dark menstrual blood from the beginning or ending of the cycle, it helps with endometriosis, it also states it helps with vaginal disorders like yeast infections and other va vaginal bacteria, so bad bacteria. Um, vaginal dryness and painful intercourse, support for cervical dysplasia, fertility enhancement, increases cervical fluids which is good for those going through menopause and it also helps relax the vaginal canal and cervix and nourishes the uterine lining. Now I can buy all of that, um, unfortunately I can't speak on all the other parts because I do not have endometriosis, I do not have fibromyalgia, I do only do this because of my painful uh, menstrual pains. And I also sometimes, if I haven't had time to do it before my menstrual cycle begins, I do it on the absolute last day or day after my period ends because that just helps me cleanse and detox any remainder of the blood as graphic as that is let's get straight into the demo and i will be talking over it so that you understand what i'm doing and how i'm doing it and at the end i'll also um or in the link below i will also link to empress body which is a black owned company and uh all of the products that they have you can go and check it out yourself i'll also link to their instagram so you can see their testimonials before I steam, I always take a shower and I also wash my lady part. Now, I'm not saying put any of these products inside you. Please don't. Your body and your lady parts are self-cleaning and all you need to do is refresh the outside. So please be mindful of that. So I do use the the sensitive the sensitive wash and um, that i use on a daily basis either i'm going to uh, after gymming when i'm showering or before this process ingredients in this are castile soap which i use on my body anyway chamomile oil to soothe and calm um sandalwood oil rose water apple cider vinegar coconut oil aloe lavender oil witch hazel and glycerin so again the ingredients list will be right here and each ingredient is things that I would normally have used either on my body, my hair or down there anyway. But they are quite specific that you do not use this inside you. Please stop messing with your pH inside you. Um, water works fine generally but I just find that this actually helps me especially, you know, to cleanse the outside. You get me? You feel me? They also have the 
yoni elixir oil which can be used during um sexual relations as a lubricant and that actually has virgin coconut oil olive oil aloe neem oil vitamin e rosemary oregano frankincense and myrrh now i've seen a lot of good reviews for this and i haven't had a chance to put it to the test when it comes to sexual relations because i haven't had any need for it but to moisturize i have used it on the outside so i start by taking out the sachet from the empress yoni steam uh, bag and that's what it looks like just the size of a tea bag and because i'll be using a facial steamer my process is a little bit different i fill the measurer to the level it's supposed to be with hot water and then i pour it into a bowl and then i will be adding the sachet, the tea bag, into it. And I will let it sit for a while before I pour it over into the face steaming machine. Now, once it's in the face steaming machine, it will be boiling there as well. So I place it there, I put it on maximum steam. There's only two settings. There's regular and maximum steam. And once I place it in there, I will reattach the top of the facial steamer which is what you're seeing me do at this part of the video once i've got it on i will place it in front of a chair and because i'm demonstrating this um, and recording it for youtube i am sitting in my office space so what you'll be seeing is me sitting on a on the bench in the office space instead of in my bedroom where I normally do it. Now, if you don't have a facial steamer, don't worry, you can follow their regular uh, instructions, which is taking a, um, it's either a bowl or a pan, and you pour hot water in there and then place the sachet into it. Bear in mind that it, the water level should only be 750 milliliters. And once you do that, you will put this where I am about to place my face steamer and just sit above it. Now I've gotten two visuals here, so you can see sideways and from the front. So as you can see, I take my dress, which is my Yoni steaming dress, and I place it above the actual steamer, and then I go on and use my cover, and I cover the entire bottom area and sit slightly above it. Now, when you sit here, you should you can do whatever you want. You can watch TV if that's what you want to do. You can meditate if that's what you want to do. Alternatively, you can read a book or drink a cup of tea. But it should be pretty much 20 minutes plus. So they normally recommend you to do the steaming for 20 minutes or more. But minimum 20 minutes for it to do its job. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.